I thought my guest was already starting to cry here, which is never a good sign. But uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday, and this is another episode of Pickup Lines presented by Ghana's Law Firm and Integrity Roofing and Siding. We are inside, under a shade tree, the uh, Lexus R RZ450E, courtesy of North Park Lexus of San Antonio, North Park Lexus at Dominion. I just got it washed, so hopefully, uh, Don Hooker, hopefully you, it still has I, that new car I'm, smell. I'm amazed at the screen. It's like an it's IMAX theater. It's bigger than here. my laptop screen. <laughs> I know. It's uh, and thankfully, as, as my eyes, as as well, my readers are here. But uh, yes, I got them. <laughs> I need the large font, larger there you font. Go. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna push on and do the show because uh, we have a lot to talk about here in the next few minutes. Uh, and I'm so thrilled because um, I should give you a proper introduction. Among other things, you are the director of fundraising and grants at Boysville. Mm -hmm. You just came to this car from Boysville. I did. Um, and I had the opportunity to be there. Was it last week we were there? Last week. And, and spent a couple of hours there and had a tour. And I was mildly embarrassed. I think I told you this at the time. That in all my years, I mean, I knew you were in, in the Converse area and I've driven by it a number of times. And I kind of had an idea of what it was. Even though I thought it was just boys. I realized very quickly that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a great education, and uh, I realized, despite all my years on TV and being in the media, I still had a lot to learn about Boysville. I think, you know, Boysville's been around for 80 years. We were founded in 1943 by Reverend Don Holloman. He saw young boys sleeping in downtown Travis Park alone and the police you know there really wasn't at the time a place for them to go right. so he brought them to his home and then along with the Kiwanis and the Optimist and the Boysville Auxiliary that now runs our thrift store yeah. they started Boysville and I think a lot of people in the community they've heard of Boysville it's right. been around 80 years it's a staple in San Antonio it's an institution. we help kids yeah. from abuse neglect abandonment um, but I believe many people don't know the extent of our programs and the reach of our programs. I certainly didn't until I was there last week, and I probably still don't know everything. But I had read, too, that this is, you know, 80 years ago, we're talking about the 40s, mm -hmm. that these boys back then were sleeping in Travis Park, whatever. And were, were they not taken to, like, detention centers? Even though they had not committed any crime, there was right. just no other place for them to go. The police would do their best. There right. was only containment centers, if you will, to take them to. And that's really not a place for children. Right, um, they hadn't done anything wrong, legally. But, but they were trying to protect them. Yeah. Right? As our, as, our, as our police officers do. Right. And so the reverend's like, you know, we've got to make a change. Yeah. Something needs to happen here. And then we moved out in the, I believe, the 50s, 60s time frame out to where Ikea is now. Right. And Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union. Like it was the live more, or yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was more dormitory style. Again, still boys. Yeah. And in 83, we moved to our current location in Converse, but know that we support children from all over Bear County and all over Texas, really, right. that come to us. And in 86, we started accepting girls so we could keep sibling groups there together. So our tagline is a Texas home for boys and girls. And it says, I know it might be difficult to see, <laughs> but underneath the, the logo there, it says exactly what you just said. Mm -hmm. And so one of the first things I learned when I was there was that there are girls mm -hmm. absolutely girls there and actually our per our percentage right now yeah girls outweigh boys what? there yes in our mommy baby program our teenage pregnant and new mom yeah. program we help kids from birth to 23 emergency shelter residential independent living most programs when you turn 18 you're an adult now and yeah. you're kind of on your own right. at boysville we have our independent living which helps with life skills they must go to work or go to school and we give them that support yeah. that guidance help them set those goals and our goal is for them and our mission is for these kids to become responsible adults i love it and i would bet money that there are educated people watching this right now who thought they knew about boys they're they're, they're thinking the same thing i was mm -hmm. last week and they're like, oh, I didn't realize all those things. And for context purposes, uh, myself and Leslie Bowl Ojeda, former TV news colleague of mine, we are emceeing a big gala. We're thrilled to be emceeing your big, uh, this is probably your biggest fundraiser of the year, right? It is. It Coming is our largest March 23rd. Mm -hmm. And you can be there still at Boeing Techport. You still have some tables available. But part of the, I, I guess, a little research, if you will, needed to be done before we emcee this event. And so mm -hmm. we had a great time there last week. 
Mm-hmm. So our event is what we call the auction. I have, I it's have a It's our 57th auction. There it is. And at Boysville on, we live on, we have about almost 80 acres, but we live on 22. Did you know that, that was big? the other thing? No, that's it's the huge. other thing that I did not know. We got there. It's this vast real estate, <laughs> but you guys are, you're using, what, a, a quarter of the land right, right. now? I mean, Maybe. a third of the not land? Not even a quarter. You have yeah. a lot of room to yeah, grow we still. Do. We do. And uh, we help kids like uh, medical, dental, vision. I mean, when they come, they get all the assessments. We right. help them with their education. Right. Uh, we make sure that we put them on the path of great skills and great learning and give them the support and love that they need um, to overcome that trauma or whatever they've been involved with, right? Right. Well, I, I was just thinking, too, I mean, some of the things you must see and hear can be unbelievably terribly heartbreaking but then i would think some of the things you see in here the, the ones that turn it around and those success stories must be unbelievably gratifying you know i've been there uh, november was a year yeah um and i don't know all of the stories yeah um of these children their their cases are kept very private um as it should be but what my ceo paula tucker told me from the beginning and what we like to focus on is where they're going yes and their success moving forward. And you can see that on our website. You can see that in our newsletter because we do focus on these right. kids and we give them that structure and that education and that support. And when they start receiving the services and the love and support of our staff and their case managers and everyone involved, we start to see them bloom and grow. And it yeah. really truly is a beautiful thing. It really is. And I, I know I saw just a fraction of it last week, but but again, I would encourage anybody just to, to learn more about it. You've probably driven by the water tower. The, it's like the silver water tower with right. the black lettering on it that says Boysville. You've right across by from the Air Force Base. A hundred thousand yep. times or whatever, but you just never realized what was beyond, yeah. beyond yeah. the gates. And I do kind of get, I get the question, are those, is that a place for the bad kids? No. I understand why people might say that. Well, they, because they don't know. They don't know. Um, but truly, these are great kids. They just come from some bad situations. Through most, probably in most cases, no fault of their own. None whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. And so. we just want to give them, and they could be with us a week. They could right. be with us a month. Right. They could be with us 10 years. We have a board member, and he's actually going to do our yes, prayer. Yes, I heard about that. Um, at, at the auction. And um, he lived at Boysville with his brother for 10 years. And now he has his master's degree. He has a family of his own. He's retired Navy. Um, we have some amazing success stories. I love it. And we're very proud of our alumni. Very good. But, of course, these things, these resources cost money, and that's why we've got the big mm. event coming up on March 23rd. So, yes, March 23rd, um, it's our 57th annual auction gala. There it and is. And it's Oops. Western chic. We're not super formal. It's Western fun. So i got to find something Western and chic to wear. <laughs> I don't scream Western <laughs> chic, Don, but uh, I want to figure it out. I'm going to ask Leslie Bull. Okay, she's your stylist. Oh, hey, though. She, yes, she, she my can wife, help you. Between and the your two wife, of them, oh, your wife can help you. Tammy, sure. Tammy's got this. Yeah. No, it's going to be a great night. Um, it's our 57th annual. Our first auction mm -hmm. started in the barn at Boysville. Right. And now it's grown, and this is our one of our largest ones. Yeah. And we've got the Josh Abbott Band as our Very entertainment. Nice. Very nice. So we do have six more tables. Okay. If anyone wants to purchase a couple of seats or a whole table, they can do that. Go to Boysville Auction. Dot org. There's the website. Right you can there. make a donation if you cannot attend. Yeah. You can support through our website. You, you can find out about you know volunteering. You and you have an option where if people just want to come see the Josh Abbott band. Correct. Just just by themselves, just the performance. Just the performance. Buy a ticket. Yeah. We have about two hundred of those tickets yeah. left, um, and in the ticket price. 100% goes to help the kids. Very good. Very good. So uh, Saturday, March 23rd. It'll be here before you know it. Um, did you grow up in the Tennessee area? I did. I'm from Nashville. Yes. And you and I have one thing in common for sure is is the journalism. Correct. I have you, a degree in journalism. Did you ever dabble on the news desk? I, when I was in Memphis, because I went to Memphis State, which is yes. now the University of Memphis, yes. I actually did an internship and guess what? Mike Osterhage was oh. the weather guy in Memphis at the time. I just saw him this weekend. 
Mike Osterhage, KSAT 12 News. I'm looking at us right now. I, I kind of see, like, I, I can definitely see an anchor. Well, thank you. That was my dream. Anchor duo. Um, I moved to Texas. My husband and I were engaged. We lived in Austin, and we dated a couple of years long distance and decided, well, I didn't want to be a part anymore. So I decided to go into other things. I've always done um, communications, yeah. development, sales. So. Right. But I'm loving working at Boysville. I love the heart of our work. Yeah. Um, I love seeing the beautiful stories of these children right. and making a difference in our community. How did Boysville come onto your radar and, and how easy or difficult was it to take that position, what you ultimately are doing right now? It came on my radar when I decided, um, once my kids were grown, my boys are now 25 and 22, to okay. go back more into the corporate world, right. if you will, even though it's nonprofit. Right. And I was looking for something to do. And um, like I said, I'd always been in sales, marketing, communications background. And I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I really think I could bring my skills, my network, the people I know. Yes. I've been in San Antonio 25 years, and my husband was born and raised here. So, you know, San Antonio is a big little town. Yes, it you is. know everybody. Yes, it is. So I felt like I could bring a lot to the table and make a true difference. And yeah. when I went and interviewed and saw and learned more, I fell in love with it. And I was able to bring my skill set of asking, sharing, not giving up. Making yeah. a difference. Yeah, because your, your title is literally fundraising and grants. So, I mean, like, you, you sit there, or you have a team. I do have a team. And you apply for grants and those kinds Correct. of things. So we do everything from our social media, communications, yeah. our newsletters, our annual reports, handling our website, to fundraising events around the community. We just had Burke Ace Hardware did a mm -hmm. give back night for us. Oh, nice. We've got numerous people that have helped us out. We do a clay shoot also in August. Okay. okay. So for those that, you know, maybe the gala auction is not your thing. Right. But the clay shoot in August out at Joshua Creek. It's will be our fourth uh, annual. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. You can come uh, participate, uh, donate and or volunteer. Right. Um, and then we help all of our volunteers. We work with our teams and our programs to find out what they need. We handle our Amazon wish list, so if you just want to, you know, help us out, you can purchase yeah. items there as well. So we handle all the communication, development, fundraising, and yes, right. we do grant, grant right as well. Yeah. One thing that I was struck by when I was there last week for the tour was the number of people that had worked there and had been there for decades. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, and were there through the pandemic and still there after the pandemic. 20, 25 years, um, and I, I'm just wondering, what are you doing over there that you're able to keep these people for multiple decades? I think, number one, it's the people yeah. that love what they do, right? Um, and Boysville is truly a family mm -hmm. with our board, our donors, our volunteers, our administration, our right. staff. Um, we have about 80 employees um, it takes a village, but we rely heavily yeah. on the community support right. in one shape or another. So, yeah, it's amazing. That's great. That's great. Um, and so you got all that land that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, you must be – I mean, it's, I, I tell people that you're, you're one of the resources, like you wish it didn't have to exist, but you're Correct. so glad that it does. Yes. And uh, I would think, I mean, what can you say in terms of, like, growth plans? What are you going to do with all that land you have out there? Well, you know, that would be a question for my board okay. and my strategic planning okay. committee. But um, we do have a few houses on the property right yeah. now that are vacant, that were at one time houses um, that um, leadership lived on right. back in the day. Yeah. Um, so we do have a little more room to expand. Uh, but, yes, um, as the community has changed... You know, as the needs have changed. Yeah. Like, for instance, our newest program is our Mommy Baby program, which right. is mothers in training, teenage pregnant or new moms, 13 to 19. And we have eight moms and eight babies on campus right now. And they go to school, they work, they learn, they take nurturing classes, and they learn how to be moms. Right. And that program evolved because... Bear County is the number one county in the state of Texas for teenage pregnancies, and we saw a need there. Yeah. So as things have evolved, and as things evolve, we see we want to be able to help those needs, right? Yeah. And hopefully we can support those needs 
right. through the facilities that we have, through the partnerships that we have, through yeah. the donors and support. So again, if you're just joining us and you're seeing Boysville, yes, she was talking about girls and young women. Yes. And and, uh, and again, it says the tagline, a Texas home for boys and girls. And, and if you're, again, joining us late, the idea was years ago, you said in the 80s, that, or when mm -hmm. was the transition made? 86. 86, that you did not want to separate siblings siblings so this is the we're one of only maybe less than 10 facilities in the state of texas that will truly keep siblings together right um and and also uh one of the only one of a handful or 10 or 15 facilities that um also helps kids over 18 because usually when you turn 18, you're on your own. You're like, yeah. you got to go. So um, we do accept girls. We also have foster care out in the community. So if you are someone you know would like to become a foster parent, right? we help you navigate that. Help you yeah, get you were set talking up. about there's a military couple, a retired military couple, right, that spends time on the property there with, with some kids. And, mm -hmm. as and a also, house parent, yeah. as, as a house parent, and mm -hmm. that, that these kids do chores and, and their structure, and they're, it's not just a free ride or a free mm -hmm. lunch. Um, and, and then you don't you have like a UT partnership or you, we you do. have, you have schooling or education there on the property. Exactly right. So um, the kids can go to the Judson ISD schools right. in the community. And we've got a great partnership with them. Yeah. They work beautifully with us. But uh, for the last year and a half, we've had the UT Charter School on mm -hmm. campus, 6th to 12th grade. And that's a little more um, individualized learning. Um, the children that typically come to us are behind in their education for whatever reason. Yeah. They've moved yeah. around. Maybe they've lived with grandparents. Maybe they weren't made to go to school right. or, or sure. whatever situation sure. we don't know but they typically come to us a little behind um and we've seen a little bit more of that due to covid as well mm -hmm. um so our goal is to help them get up to speed with ever whatever resources we have and then you met miss cindy in our library I did. she's been there 25 years and she runs our library and educational programs where she helps the kids set, set them up for success Monday through Thursday, they have tutoring after school, and we have volunteers that come and tutor the kids. Right. Um, we even have a music program where they can be tutored in that as well. I saw instruments and all kinds of <laughs> yes. stuff in there, and you were telling me she's the one that logistically has to schedule All the schedules. Everything. Could you imagine, I... like, nine different schools and over 60 kids, no. like, all their things with two? I could barely do it with my <laughs> three. And that's that's pushing it. That is pushing it. And then, uh, but yeah, she also helps them, you know, set their educational goals. You know, uh, we have a great partnership with UTSA and um, the uh, the Fostering Your Future program yeah. with foster kids. So a lot of our kids go to college. We do have a one hundred percent high school graduation rate. That's in unbelievable. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That is remarkable. So that just speaks to some of, and again, it would take us another hour and a half to. We could talk all talk, day. We could, right? but then my, no, I got to go pick up my kids <laughs> from school a little bit. No, but, but I, that we would never even just scratch the surface of what Correct. you guys are doing there every day. Um, and and I, recreation. I, the kids, we got prom coming up in April. So they go to prom, homecoming. Homecoming. They get moms. They, if they want to run track, be in the band, orchestra choir whatever they want to do that's another part of our fundraising and at our auction we have something called fund my future yes. and you can literally just go on and donate to help pay for backpacks shoes um camps for the kids yeah you know whatever it may be um to help them out this is the website boysvilleauction.org and so uh the, the gala the, the event's going to be amazing but that's you know where the money is to be made to help fund all these programs and i thought that's why that it was so important we did this episode today was to hopefully convey some of what i took away last week again just just through it's not ignorance we just don't know we don't know what's happening over there uh and you guys are doing this through the pandemic 365 days well 366 days this year <laughs> this year 366 um and uh it's it's pretty amazing and i loved how you when you know we were walking going through the campus and everybody was so courteous and nice and it was just so cool to see all that um we have an amazing staff. you have a gymnasium like a legit with a hardwood basketball court and the scoreboard and everything like it's really set up like 
like a traditional school would be. We have all, be. I mean, we have an arts and crafts room. We have a weight yeah. room for the 14-year-olds and up. We have an edu- uh, we have a, a recreational director, and he handles all of the um, events for the kids as far as, you know, we have a basketball team in the fall we had. Yeah. Um, uh, they they have time that they go to the gym right. based on their programs and their cottage. That we, go, we call it cottage that they live in. That's Beautiful place. Every one of them has a case manager. They receive therapy. Um, they get ev- all of the resources that they need. We're going to make sure it's provided. And I just imagine what these kids and we, you know, we weren't having necessarily interactions with the children and everything, mm-hmm. but you can imagine just what they have experienced and based on things I've covered in the news over the years, just some of the yeah. terrible things that 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 they're put in situations that they're put into. Mm-hmm. It's good to know that that you have something like this available. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and I would imagine there are, I would imagine there are calls in the middle of the night sometimes too, where there's a panicked parent or, or caseworker on the other end of the phone and they need a place for a child or something Yeah, like we that. have our emergency um, shelter. You met Miss yes, Eid. She's yes. been there almost 28 years. Unbelievable. Saint. Saint. Yeah, she's amazing. And she literally, our emergency shelter from birth to 17 mm-hmm. gets calls in the middle of the night, um, either from the police, CPS, um, or whomever, birth to 17. And we do our best to make sure that we can take care of them with new pajamas, yeah. a teddy bear, um, whatever they need. Yeah. And we make sure we get them on the right track and right. services that they need. Is the public able to go tour? And go go see with an appointment. They with an appointment, well, I would think for obvious yeah. reasons. The right. reason I say that is because when you go there and you see it, you, you took us. I guess it's like the visitor center or the the lobby area right there. There's a, it's like history on the wall. All yes. of the black and white photos yes. of the early days of Boysville and your other locations and everything. Yes. It just it tells such a great as great a storyteller as you are. Oh, thank you. The, the pictures and everything really kind of makes it all fit together well we would love to have visitors out and again it would be appointment only sure. um you can reach reach me through the website um my information Don gives is great there. tours by the way and she drives the golf cart and uh be nice <laughs> no i did, did no one was injured you did travel. it was just chilly when we were there that day it was, it was cold like, it was like chilly like, it was that day okay, that i wore a sundress last monday because i'm thinking oh it's going to be 80 degrees <sighs> Yes, Leslie and yeah. I both had dresses on, and it, it ended up being cloudy and gloomy yeah, well, in Converse. Go figure. But again, remember that we do serve children from all yeah. over Bear County, not just Converse. Uh, even down into the valley, we've had kids from Abilene. We've had kids from San Angelo, um, from all over Texas, really. I want to acknowledge Dr. George Rapier because his name is on here. Yes. Uh, and you were telling me about, I think he's a familiar name to a lot he of people, is. with WellMed and stuff that he's Correct. done. But but. At some point years ago, he saw something in Boysville and has been, I think Generous is probably putting it lightly, uh, mm-hmm. but he's been very, very nice to you guys. He has been, from my, my understanding, mm-hmm. uh, been supporting Boysville in many ways um, for the last 25 years. And Dr. Rapier, yes, he owned WellMed. And um, about 25 years ago, whoever did the tour with him in the emergency shelter, yes, with Miss Eve, she yes. was there. She's still there. She remembers it. Still there. And basically, they were showing um, the bedrooms where the kids are. Yes. And they opened the closet, and there was one little pink dress. Oh, this story. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just telling you. Um, it gets me every time. No, I know. You told it to me last week. And, so, one um, pink dress. One pink dress. So, this little girl, she was less than two years old had come to the shelter, and literally that's all she had. And anything that a donor gives to us brand new mm-hmm. at Boysville, because we have people do pajama drives and clothing drives, and if you want to help in any way, reach out to us. We'll figure out what yes. we need, and we appreciate you. Um, and if it's used items, you can donate to our thrift store down on Almas, because you know if it's donated there or sold there, it supports the kids. And there's some good stuff over there, I'm told. I got some Fiesta blouses last year, I, Word of Fiesta. Legit. Legit. Nice stuff. I almost didn't want to give out the secret to people, because I should <laughs> you go You want your there. wife to be able to go I first? Should, she and I should go over there first, but I think I just yeah. gave out the secret. Yeah, so Dr. Appear, ever since then, seeing that this little girl only had this dress, mm-hmm. He's like, we've got to take care of the kids. These kids need us. And ever since then, he's been a huge supporter 
uh, of Boysville, of our mission, and he is our presenting sponsor yes. this year. And our event sponsor is Urban Concrete yes. Contractors. Give them some love here. Yes. There they are. There they are. So, so we appreciate everyone and their support. We've got amazing donors. Yes. My friend Adrian Salinas is on here. She says, is that Don Hooker? So I don't know. It if, is. I don't know if you know Adrian <laughs> or not, but yes, it is. I can confirm. This is Don yes, Hooker is. at Boysville. Um, and I know this is a crazy busy time. Is anybody who puts on a gala of this magnitude? Mm, 19 more days. Is, but who's counting? We're not going to count. <laughs> Nobody, I'm just glad you're going to be there. <laughs> I play, Leslie and I will hold your hand. And we you know, will, it's going to go great. Last year was my first one. I came in midstream. I only had a few months to oh, get it different. going. So this year we're feeling great. Um, I've got an amazing board. Raul and his yeah. wife, Carla, are act, our auction chairs. They've been phenomenal. And we can't do it without the support. Yeah. Um, HEB, we're doing an ice chess pool. Oh, that was, the, I wanted to mention that because <laughs> I have, I have emceed dozens, if not a couple hundred galas over You're the like, years. You're like, what the heck is this? I have never seen an ice chest pool. This was Richard Ajeda's idea. R Leslie's husband, he's a former Ray Fayo and, mm -hmm. and, and another very generous guy. So, so tell me, we got a couple more minutes here. Okay. Tell me about the ice chest pool. So the ice chest pool, HEB, has been an amazing donor and okay. supporter of Boysville for years. Yes. And we couldn't do it without them uh, as they help the community. Um, so we're going to have an ice chest pool. So they've given us 43. Okay. 38 quart okay. Cody ice chests, all different colors. Nice. And we're going to have them up on the wall. On, 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 on risers okay and they're gonna sell for five hundred dollars each okay and in the ice chest you could get items that are five hundred thousand twelve hundred dollars well over I mean you're gonna get oh yeah more than your you money pay. back you're gonna get okay because we have an amazing package from SeaWorld donated. Okay. We've got two adult bikes donated. We've got Kendra Scott necklace and earrings donated. A Kate Spade bag. Okay. Um, so that's exciting. A 22 uh, inch Blackstone. A wine fridge. Those are just to name a sin. We've got some jewelry donated. So you pick a nice chest. Yeah. Of course, you don't know what's in it. You pay the 500 and then you get whatever. You pay your 500 You get whatever's You inside. pick out a number from a bowl. Uh -huh. So if I get number five, yes. that's the ice chest I get. You get okay. And then you said cool. there's how many? 40 something? 43. So all the people, the 43 people who buy or, or however many buy mm -hmm. all those ice chests, Will then be entered into a separate. We're, yeah, giveaway. we're working on that one. Okay. But all forty-three will go into a drawing for something, something special, like a bonus prize, mm -hmm. only available for the people who bought those ice chests. I think that's a great idea. Pretty cool. Different. Anybody, anybody who's doing a gala in the future, uh, I love. I like that idea. I saw it. At, I've seen it at a couple of places. Ribs and Rita's had yes, it at okay. a smaller amount, and then uh, Richard has seen it at several fishing. Yeah. Advance down in the valley in the oh, coast. Wow. That makes sense. But uh, there's also going to be a tumbler raffle. We have a tumbler. Uh -huh. It looks like a Stanley, but it's not quite. <laughs> and it's and it's been donated by the Pearl. Okay. They're one of our sponsors, and those are hundred dollar raffle tickets. That's so we're so gonna have cool. items for to give away on that. And then we've got an amazing live auction. A trip to Italy, uh -huh. trip to Cyprus, St. Thomas. We have a Longhorn. Like a real life a longhorn, longhorn mm -hmm. that you. Oh my yep, goodness. we have two puppies: a chocolate lab, yes, and a, a black chocolate lab, and a female. No, the chocolate lab is female, right. and the black lab is male. And then we have a porte house. And Some a good stuff. More things. What, what do you we got? We gotta go. Well, I know. Well, I, I got a. <laughs> We yeah. got some ends. I got some ends with the Ray, the Ray Fail. Let's, let's just say it's a cool little fiesta package we're putting together. Yeah. I'm uh, so excited. Let me put this up one more time before, okay. we, before we run here so everybody can see all the particulars. Instead of making a fancy digital graphic, we have this. This is oh, even better. Uh, it's got all the particulars there. And, and Don said there are still a few tables left there. Boysvilleauction.org if you want to see what we're talking about, all the cool stuff. And then uh, there's the save the date, the time, the date, and everything. And or, hey, just come, come to the... Come to the entertainment portion. If you want to just see the Josh Abbott Josh band. Josh Abbott band and all the money goes to Boysville. I love it. I love it. Well, I know I got you in the middle of your work day and everything, but I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank Super you, Super cool. And I, if nothing else, nothing else, I would encourage you to just do a little research on your own. Find out what Boysville is all about because, um, like we said, there's plenty of land out there to grow and do more things. But realize what they're doing every day and, and, and been, been doing for many decades mm -hmm. now. 
It's amazing. It's great to see you. Thank you, Thank Ernie. you so much. Don Hooker out over at Boysville, and she even bought her own sign, which is even, which is even bonus points for you. There you go. All right. This is another episode of Pickup Lines presented by Gama's Law Firm and Integrity Roofing and Siding. We'll be back very soon to do it all over again right here on a social media platform near you. Have a great day. Bye for now. Bye.